Great news, Sakurai! Atlas just approved to have Joker in Smash! No way! Wait a minute, didn't I tell you there's a rule that non-video game characters are not allowed? What? Also, there's no way I'd put Joker in a game like Smash. Not only do I not approve of letting characters have guns, but we don't even have Batman. Wait, what? No, dude. I'm not talking about the comic book character. I'm talking about this Joker. What the hell? No anime characters either. This is a video game character, dude, from Persona 5. Oh, now I know what you're talking about. I have the perfect moveset in mind for him. Alright, let's hear it. For his neutral special, he wields a gun. What the heck? I thought you said no guns! Yeah. I lied. Huh. Kind of poetic that the only two characters that have a gun in this game are from Sega. That being Bayonetta, and now Joker. Darn. We could have had a third character if we added Shadow to the game. You know why that's never gonna happen. Anyways, what else should we give him? A knife? Perfect. He has a gun and a knife. Just like those magicians you find in the dark alleys of Detroit. Magicians? Yeah. Last time I was there, this dude showed me his gun and knife. And next thing you know, my wallet disappeared. Just like magic. What? Anyways, what else can we give him? I don't know, man. He seems pretty good already. He has frame data, a projectile, movement. He's kind of like Sheik. Oh, good idea. Let's give him Sheik's up air. Sakurai, I wasn't implying to make him more like Sheik. Yeah, but even so, Sheik isn't that great. Sheik doesn't have a gun. I feel like most people would say her weakness is kill power, not her lack of firearms. Well, if she had a gun, I bet she'd be better at killing. Wait, that's it. We need to give Joker some kill power. I feel like he already has everything else going for him. Do we really need to go and give him more? Of course. He's DLC after all. Now quick, help me think of a gimmick. A gimmick? Yeah. What's special about him? Hmm. Well, he does have arson. He has a criminal charge for arson? What? No. Arson, as in his persona. Setting things on fire is not a personality. Tell that to Ness Mains. In the game, he can travel to the metaverse where his persona is manifested into a powerful entity called arson. With arson, Joker can fight against evil. The metaverse? So he's battling evil with virtual reality goggles? No, it's an alternate dimension formed by the collective unconscious of people. So it's basically a dream, but multiplayer. Not exactly. Can Arson appear in the real world? No. So this guy is useless. Huh? How is Arson supposed to show up in the field if he only exists in the metaverse? Is Joker just supposed to have a stroke and drag everyone else into his hallucinations where he can fight Arson? Well, we can make it his final smash, maybe. No, let's find a way. Let's give Joker the ability to switch into Arson. So does he just switch out and Arson hops in? Nah, he appears next to him like a JoJo stand and they fight together. Two characters in one? So another Ice Climbers? Yeah. Except it's Ice Climbers with an assault rifle. He has an assault rifle? I don't know. Does he? No! It's just a pistol! Oh. In that case, we'll make the pistol think it's an assault rifle. He has an automatic pistol? Also, he'll just be possessing Joker from the imaginary world and giving Joker his strength. So it's like two characters in one, which means he'll hit twice as hard. Come on! What the heck is that knockback, dude? I know, right? It's like Sheik. But if Sheik had Ganondorf's knockback, why would that be a thing? Remember when we gave him Sheik's up air earlier? Now imagine if it killed. Dude, that is way too strong. And imagine if we gave him Cloud's back air, but it comes out way faster and it's way stronger. How do characters escape the ledge? They don't. He can also do this. He has Robin's arc fire? He has who's what? That's like arc fire, but two times bigger. I have no idea what you're talking about, but you could think of it as Ness's PK fire, but with kill power. It also looks cooler. What the heck, man? Also, let's give him a counter, but this will be a special counter. Why is it special? Because this can counter everything. It's a reflector? Not just a reflector, but it can also counter regular attacks. So it's a counter that can also counter projectiles. Hell yeah! What in the world is that range? The counter also hits in all directions, so there's no chance of it ever missing a counter attack. So he can reflect attacks and projectiles. My goodness, man. How can this character be any more busted? Let's make him fly. What? Look at Arson. He has wings. I say we give him the ability to fly. That is not happening. Oh, come on. Look. He has like angel wings. Let's make him like Pit where he can flap those wings and fly. Sakurai, I'm begging you. Do not give a character that has an upper stronger than Donkey Kong's the ability to ladder characters to the top blast zone. Fine. But what if we gave him Pit's recovery? Well... I guess that's fine. I mean, Pit's recovery is easy to intercept, so that's not too broken. Oh, you're right. Thanks for mentioning that. Let's make it invincible so you can't edgeguard him. 
Oh, for the love of... Your Huh, I just noticed something that's kind of funny. What's that? We now have two characters named both Joker and Robin. I guess we really are just missing Batman. Joker and who? 